Well, it's finally time to upgrade the Netfinity. All of the hardware is here, so I'm going to crack it open, upgrade the RAM to 2 gigabytes, install the other three CPUs with coolers, install a RAID card, install Linux, try to install Minecraft server and actually run the thing and see if it works. So, uh, uh, I had tons of footage of me putting this thing together, so I'll try to compress it down, and then uh, we'll see if we can run Minecraft. Here's our SCSI card. Um, this looks like PCI to me. I'm sure you'll agree it's not this um, pr proprietary bus that IBM had. I, I forget what it's called at the moment. But um, So our card's going to have to go into one of the PCI Express, sorry, PCI slots. Um, but the, uh, the cabling for the SCSI backplane is over here. I need to get it up to here. So if we put our card here, we've got to come up and around. moment of truth. Okay, lights are good. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, anyone there? Ah, oh, come on. Why? What? Ugh. Why does this happen to me? Super useful postcode there. Thanks, IBM. 
So I'm still getting the same behavior from the controller card. Um, so this, don't know how well you can see that, but this blue and black wire um, is power for that controller card. So I'm just gonna try cycling it. Should there, oh, the system seems to have booted up when I did that. So I'm just gonna plug it back in. Now we got post codes. There she's alive. Ah. Oh. Serious? Ah. Oh. You know what? No. It's fine. It's fine. Two two CPUs are enough. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I spent way too long trying to figure out how to set up the RAID array. Um, these old RAID cards, they, you have to use a utility that's not like built in in the BIOS, you know, like in Windows uh, or Linux to, to set up the drives and the card and everything else. And, you know, I, I tried to boot the... Um, the Linux CD that I found online to set this card up and you know that Linux CD did not like this hardware it just failed over and over again so I'm this is terrible but I'm just gonna go for a software raid um, it it's fine yeah you know it's fine it, it's fine everything's fine Well, it's running? Yeah, that kind of looks like a login screen. This is fine. I mean, servers don't usually have monitors and keyboards plugged into them. Anyway, they're meant to be connected remotely. So that's what I'll do. I'm just gonna SSH into this box and, uh... uh Please work. Uh. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. We are in, baby. Oh, yes. It's time for Minecraft. Okay, moment of truth, again. Uh. 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 -huh. Come on. Process. That's not good. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, they're okay. All right. Uh, there's got to be a way we can tell it not to time out after 60 seconds. <laughs> 
Yep, there was a setting I found. It was in the properties file. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is the best. I'm having so much fun. <gasps> oh, look. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, as soon as I walk over here, it's going to generate chunks and then crash. Wait for it. No? Well? Uh, <laughs> I think it works. This is spectacular. Oh, spawn protection. Uh, I'm still claiming victory. I mean, this is totally running perfectly. Perfectly normal, mostly. <laughs> I mean, freaking Minecraft on 200 megahertz, man. Like... <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, there's a little bit of block lag. Okay, so. Uh. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Oh, it broke. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep, this is, I'm victorious. I'm just. This is fantastic. To it. Come on, pick up. There we go. Okay. Yep. Minecraft on the IBM Netfinity 7000 with two CPUs at 200 megahertz. I am on top of the world right now. This is great. Well, thanks for watching Retrobytes. I'll catch you guys on the next one.